Hello, my name is Anera and I'm a researcher at Federal Institute for Materials Research and Testing in Berlin, Germany. Where am I now? Yeah, you're right. I'm in front of the Berlin Wall. Well, I guess it's easy to guess where am I now or where the things come from when you're standing in front of them. But what happens when we have a really small amount of sample, for example, concrete, like this, or even smaller in nanograms? Can we really determine where it comes from? Well, here science comes into play. Scientists are using elemental ratios and as well isotopic ratios to determine where the things come from. For example, foodstuff uh, or ancient potteries or ancient glassware. So, the, in principle, these approaches can be applied as well to building materials such as concrete and cement, but they can be associated with some difficulties because, for example, concrete has um, consists of several mineral phases. Well, this complex question I'm solving in my PhD thesis, where I'm developing a method for cement provenancing with the use of strontium and neodymium isotopic fingerprints and as well elemental fingerprints. So why the isotope systems of these elements? Well, these isotope systems of these elements can be linked to the geographical origin as they reflect the mineral composition and as well geological history of the raw material which is used for cement production. How do I do this? Sample preparation takes place in a metal-free clean laboratories where I isolate my elements of interest from the matrix. And then after that, samples are being measured on very highly precise instrumental techniques such as TIMS or ICPMSs. So after that, the results can be used to pinpoint the origin. So where can cement be, uh, where does cement provincing can be used, in which areas? Well, the answer is in more than one area. For example, it can be applied for solving liability issues. Uh, let's say related to the collapse of the buildings, houses, or any other uh, concrete made structures. The other application would be in forensic science, for example, when very small particles of mortar, concrete, or even maybe cement are found on a crime scene, they can be linked to the suspect, to the victim, or to, they can be tracked uh, back to the original packaging unit, and they can as well serve later on as, a phys uh, as an evidence on, uh, for use in court. So therefore, the results of my research thesis can be used in many applications and they, therefore they as well represent why science really matters.